Yeah. All I'm saying is racism destroys. But a couple of times yeah. it brings people together. It's like it's like Does it's, it? it's like Does oh, it? a no. couple of oh, times. No, honestly, so, no. Bobby's right. Sometimes the racist test is being racist. Everybody, hands in, hands in, hands in. Joystick, but like really quietly on three. One, two, three. Joystick. joystick. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome to. New episode of the Joystick Show. Very high energy. To Super start high us. energy to start this up. You know how it be. <laughs> really uh, we're gonna be Records. fucking hanging oh. out with you for oh. like forty ish, maybe fifty ish minutes. It's around Ooh, that time. I don't, I don't know yet. It's about it, that time. You know, we might get to the end and that is it a Lizzo lyric. Yeah, it can't be. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> like that, right? <laughs> She's big. So, make sure to go ahead and like this episode of The Joystick Show. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the boys here at Joystick, which Sub-less of course collide. are Jerry. Jerry. Dylan. Joey. I didn't point at you. Yeah, you <laughs> you gotta leave now. Yeah. Joey's gone. Wrong. Peace <laughs> out, bro. It's Joey, like, this, this, kid's this is party, like man. honestly the third time Joey's this gotten not, fired. Yeah, this yeah. Is <laughs> We fired Joey a few yeah, times yeah. on this <laughs> channel. Never warranted. Subscribe, <laughs> like. There's the All YouTube that. spiel, and now we can fucking we can discuss. Yeah, discuss. As people do yeah. tend to do. I've got a lot like of just random shit to talk. Mm-hmm. Same. I got a lot of random shit to this say. This is. Too. I don't think. I always say I don't think, but then in editing, I'm like, wow, we ended up talking about oddly what similar I, shit. But okay. like, I don't really think <coughs> anything's gonna link here. It's just gonna be one of those fucking <laughs> potpourri episodes. All right. Fucking. Uh, I Man. like. I like more like stream of consciousness. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna put go. the three things I want to talk about into. Three bins. You know what? I'm scrapping that idea. Because I, <laughs> I know it's talk talk about it. No, I'm idea. not going to lie. One of them trumps like, everything I want to talk about. I love that shit. Let's, let's start it off, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, me and Dylan popped the cherry, and we're, we're YouTube streamers. I don't know. Oh, I don't I thought know. you were going to say you're having a baby. No, that would, <laughs> that's not how that future, would. Maybe, that would not be know. the description. I mean, but there is a clip of you saying that we have to fucking have children so that we can put them on joystick you know like yeah, a family yeah. channel type thing. yeah and then prank them <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then prank them prank we them had you as a mean. joke very easy <laughs> there's it no way we could have had get over there and review that fucking toy yeah, right. <laughs> i can edit that video michael oh, uh man. now we we uh we streamed for the first time on joystick i thought that was a pretty cool first of all i thought it was cool considering we came up with the idea like less than a week before we it was like did. honestly 48 hours before yeah. yeah so the fact that we were able to just strap the boots and be like let's just jump into it let's go i was Ooh. really happy about mm-hmm. that bobby actually like went over like what i expected i just expected us to walk in press go and just go you know what i mean yeah. i bobby was like oh we need this we need that and we had it i mean yeah. it was actually quite impressive yeah i mean it was a good time you know i made a little some just graphics some obs that we could switch behind a little be right back graphic mm-hmm. little webcam frame yeah, the and game whatnot. ready it was a good time. We uh, it was just kind of a, we I mean we went into it with the idea that we didn't fully understand what we were doing in full, but we just wanted to do it so that we could get used to it. It was like a good test, whatever. But for what it's worth, we actually got some really good yeah. shit out like, of it. Like we've both streamed before, so we were able to just on the fly and be able to be like, oh, let's do this, yeah, or let's do that, and it was like pretty. Just easy as like a way. checklist of stuff that Dylan and I were able to get done on this one stream, right? We watched. Two, like one and a half playing games in the NBA and reacted to it. If I didn't have to go get the bus, it would have been the whole it game. Too, yeah. Great and game. And not for what it's worth, Dylan actually like left at the hypest like part of Damn. both of those games. Uh, so we did that. We fucking played Trivial Pursuit. Yep. We got like pre- practically a let's play in there with some really solid clips. Uh, we even did a one-off where uh, Dylan beat World 1 of Super Meat Boy as fast as he could. And then I, I played as much of the game as I could in the time it took him. And I can literally just edit that down into a one-off and put that on. Joystick. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. By the way, how how long do you think it, you, it took Dylan oh, to I, beat World? Don't say anything. How long do you think it took Dylan to beat World One of Super Meat Boy? Like the get, whole world, just light. World One, uh, chat levels one to twenty and the boss light. To give you perspective, to do that in the speed run takes about two minutes, fifteen to twenty wow. seconds. Okay, how long it took Dylan? It yeah. took Dylan thirteen it took Dylan, minutes. It took Dylan. I'm gonna say twenty minutes. It took Dylan seven minutes. Wow! It, I had without some dumb deaths, it would have been like five. Yeah, I had some pretty okay. dumb. Deaths. I guessed like it would take Dylan less than fifteen, thinking it'd be around like twelve ish or something like that. 
Dylan thoroughly surprised Ooh. me. Like the first, I mean, he eight, has the knowledge. No, yeah, yeah, he even said he was like just watching you play this game. Yeah. Like the, the first, first eight e- levels, eight levels, he was literally speed running it. I was like, <laughs> you gotta make me and Jerry do it now to see if it's so just you guys. Can yeah, yeah. we just been watching you so many times play Super Meat. And also, it's like we, World we, World we, I feel like we've all played a platformer that you can stick to the sides before. Yeah. So you know that you kinda, just kind of yeah, you know what the timing is roughly. It's not like exclusive to that game. Also, it was like a little mini segue thing. Uh, in like joking about how we kind of speed ran in our first stream we even like talked about potentially doing something we've even like joked around about on the podcast which is doing like a joystick speed run marathon low-key where we just like speed run the games that we know how to do do a little 16 star do a little meat boy slide guys gotta get a game i was saying you you guys have to learn how to speed run a game by the summer i got Mega Man x i was yeah four i could probably do scott pilgrim or like a horror game Speed run a hard game? Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's, there's a huge, can that's slender, not really, but there is a huge community around those horror games that they all they like. Go, the haunted go. game we play on. It's just, there's some of them that are like PT. Uh, fear. Speed run PT. All right. So, so just done. wanted to pat ourselves on the shoulder because I'm proud that we were able to get that stream out. I'm really excited for what we're able to pull out. And I mean, for what it's worth, even in just like the RB right back screens where Dylan and I were quote unquote watering plants. We were able mm-hmm. to come up with so many like ideas for future streams. So it's crazy that it, it's almost like we're like, it's still joystick. It's the same fucking channel. Yeah. It's the same people, but it almost feels like a whole new level of like content that we're doing now, which is mm-hmm. fun. That's cool. Like we've even, even talked about like the, our nightly nostalgia shit about how we wanted to do the, I like that. Like show each other old games we played. Streaming is a perfect platform for that because we could perfect. just do it in lo- yeah. real time and then I could cut that up into a mini video. So Right. And if something funny happens, I do just like slice, slice. Edit. Right. Exactly. So stay tuned for Moy. 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 I was going to say noi Moy, noi. Lost. Moy Joystick. <laughs> Stay tuned for Flocks. more joystick streams from Team Joystick themselves. Correct. Right. The, yeah, there's a dope. Do that. It's gonna be a good time. Mm-hmm. I got more stuff to jump in, but yeah. if anybody wants to cut me off, um, I have I have something face. to announce, but it's not really fully the there. Yes, it's the actual baby <laughs> announcement. Uh-huh. That it's not fully there yet, but I would like to make this announcement because I want you guys to be involved a little bit. So, firstly, I got the guys on board. Uh, both Bobby and Joey to help me film a short film of some sorts for school, and that's very important. By the way, I have ideas so, about that. I have so. ideas for that as well. Uh, uh, my classmate does not have ideas for that, and I believe he is in a foreign country, so mm-hmm. not not there. And he's about to fucking. <clears throat> he's about to be wowed. Yeah. By what he has, what we have in store. However, but I, I am trying to launch another thing where I'm trying to launch my very own sports blogging website. Oh. Uh, and you might be saying, hey, guys, why do I want you on board with that? You guys don't know much about sports, but you guys do know about esports. I do know about esports. So I was wondering uh, if maybe you guys would want to write something. Some esports correspondence. Some or some esports, some predictions. Can I be a melee some correspondent? Cover. You can be. You can be the <laughs> melee predictions guy. Fire. You could be. <laughs> can can it can this be a subsidiary of Team Joystick under the umbrella? Yeah, it could be. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll be. Uh, we'll be constituents, yeah, as yeah, they yeah. say. Just yeah, throw we'll up be, the green screen. Right yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is yeah. like the sports ball of Rooster Teeth. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's crazy. Uh, but so I'm going to be launching this with like about a dozen people from Baruch potentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're trying to get it out by the end of uh, the semester, and then essentially I would be working with the school so that like people who are like journalism majors will be uploading their shit onto the website as well so it'll be like an actual website dylan's been on this channel for nine years and he has never put that amount of (laughs) into anything we've ever done i I, no, and that's a lot it doesn't (laughs) here's the thing it doesn't it's not there yet it's not like the thing isn't there yet Mm -hmm. but i am talking into existence because it's already like dylan i I want you to know i love you but if that shit pops off before this shit pops off (laughs) i might kill you in your sleep i don't know well hey what if they work in tandem uh, I don't know. It's probably no. <laughs> no, no. Nah, it's cool. Do you guys have like a name? No, or, no. It, it's it's go be there though. How about being how about, joystick? How about you know? Because everything <laughs> everything sports no, have, related have, no, no, is no, no. kind of tacky. I That's why good, we're I like joystick team. I have a really good idea. Well, it's sports related, right? Uh, you could do it maybe based on like where you're located. So obviously, like the city, like you know, New York, right? 
and you want it to be exclusive because like you want people to feel like they're part of it. So like New York Sports Club, I think, <laughs> I think that would work great. NYSC, I could already see the branding. Maybe like a we, white can or we, red can logo. We, yeah. I honestly, I feel like we do that, but we do we do it like a like an accepted South Harmon Institute of Technology yeah, to yeah, it, yeah. That's and we like wild. we take someone else's logo and we just change it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a tad bit. Yeah, That's but a yeah, sick idea. Uh, ESPJ, ESP. I don't know. ESPM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment Sports uh, Network. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Entertainment Sports Writing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Uh, but it will not take away my time at Joystick. I will still be here. I am not. This is not my resignation. <laughs> uh, and it's weird that I want. I had this idea maybe like three or four years ago, but I was always like, oh, this won't help me. This won't be helpful to my degree or anything like that in the future and then we fast forward now where i have a writing internship and a communications degree so mm -hmm. it would make sense that i have something like this right and it kind of would kind of fit yeah. as well Fucking, so, yeah. uh can't wait till i resign from joystick that's and then be you fun. become a full-time <laughs> writer at at, at at sports club New no York. i become a full-time <laughs> writer at like joystick industry oh, oh, so like, yeah. Yeah. See, see where i joystick that. conglomerate <laughs> international you guys LTD, joke around LED, you don't even LCD. know i'm walt disney in the fucking making bro doing, by the time i'm 50 anti-semitism on the radio <laughs> 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 but i'm gonna be successful as shit <laughs> dog i have my own amusement park man and what? kids <laughs> suck <laughs> shit that's a joke that's a joke ha <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> we, we like Jonah Hill here. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Fucking, uh, no, I was gonna, it was kind of funny just to keep it on, on tangent it, it, when Dylan said the, the resign thing. Fucking Jose and I were having a conversation the other night and we were talking a lot about joystick and a lot about the, the content. And, and first of all, big props to, to Jose because he got accepted to the boot camp that Jerry's doing, yeah. or did rather. So happy for him. Finally, this is gonna be his, uh, his big hurrah. But he was even yeah. saying that he was like part of him wants to like do some of like the creative like joystick stuff to a degree, even though he has his own personal like things about being on camera and stuff like that. But he was like, my big thing is like, I would feel weird if like joystick worked out and then I came back into it. And I was like, oh, because of like what people would think low key. And he was like, no, of what like the guys would think. And I was like, Jose. <laughs> and he what? was like, he was like, yeah, like I would want to sit down with them and be like, I just like, I don't want you to think. No he, way. He did That's I said this. No, he did I said this. And I literally, I was like, Jose, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I was like, I want you back. It doesn't matter. Like fucking. And I was like, maybe fucking Dylan. I we, can we, can we, oh, look at him. He's already crossing yeah, his arms. Yeah, yeah, can, we, can we set this up where it's like it's like a TV show. We set up the cameras. It's, it's like, like mad. It's here. Yeah, and we're it's there. So, it's, it's so intense. We haven't even popped off. We have like 5,000 <laughs> subscribers yeah. and like a one ad deal, right? Yeah, yeah. But, Jerry walks but, off in anger. Yeah. Jose walks in. He sits down with us. He's like, guys. Guys, what if it's a shark tank? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, guys, I want This is Jose Bar. I was like, dum, dum. <laughs> Dun, 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 we're all, and at the end, we're all like, fuck yeah, what do you mean? It's a fucking idiot. Like, bro, what do you we mean? like the Smash Bros. <laughs> intro part two, bro. Yes. <laughs> we did yes. the exact same sketch. <laughs> the exact old. same sketch. And with slightly better editing. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down it to takes all place three when of he walks ideas. in the house. Speaking of crazy edits, I want to scroll into what I've been doing. Uh, I found the most disturbing video, apparently, to, to the internet says. Yeah. I don't think it is disturbing, though. I haven't seen it, though. Anyways, there's um. Then you haven't found it if you didn't watch I it. I found the information about it. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Um, I saw a meme where they were making fun that was like going down through the mo most disturbing horror films, and it started off with like Scream, and then it was going into crazier things. It yeah, started off I with see, Scream. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I but it goes, it, it goes down, them. down to the last part where it was like, "Don't touch this," and it was called a foo bar. And I was like, what the hell is that? And looking on it, like trying to look up for it, there's not a lot of information about it because they're trying to hide it. Mm -hmm. But apparently this one guy edited and found a bunch of like not safe for work videos, just dis like disturbing videos of anything you can imagine that is like, oh, that's going to make someone uncomfortable, me uncomfortable, or cannot be shown on like any sort of media. He was like, I edited all of it into like a DVD, like a movie. And I'm calling it Fubar. And I've he, seen that. I've heard he of He only made 35 copies, and that 35, and he was like, I'll, "I'll sell it to you, like I'll give it to you, but you need to pass it down. Like that's gonna, what, like he says, I want this movie to go down, run passed around. And uh, instead of that happening, a guy was selling it, and he was like, "All right, well now I'm not gonna make a part two and 
everyone was like, oh, we don't even know if it was good or not. But um, it's uh, I don't the you can't find the video, but those the only information is from this girl, um, this like this big like goth girl, and she was describing what was going on, and it's just like insane. It's just like like she says there's executions, there's a lot of like weird scat porn, yeah. uh, there's bestiality, there's a lot of genitalia mutilization. And it's like everything, like it's, she just listed it on and on. And I was like, I mean, the funny thing about shit. that is that's been popular since like the 80s, like Faces of Death and like the, uh, well, those just, black cult films and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, snuff films, all well, that. This guy's uh, John Waters film yeah. with fucking Pink Fleming. I think this was like early on, but it's it's been like like rumor. It's like a big like, well, yeah, this yeah, yeah. movie, like that. that's the most, just, and it's edited. The, the woman in the video was telling, uh, she said it's edited. Like this isn't just a bunch of things slapped together. Like this guy spent time picking the song to go with this moment, or like he edit. He began with like an actual like home recording of a ringleader uh, announcing a circus, <laughs> and it ends with the Looney Tunes. That's all, folks. Oh yeah, I've heard of this. Yeah, yeah. it's like crazy. an old internet urban legend thing. Yeah. yeah, you know what's crazy? Even stuff. There's even stuff like that in in like anime. There's like villains that are like influenced by that. They're like, oh, I watched a video like this. And they're like, all humans are evil. And that's like their origin story. Oh, nice. In like anime? They just yeah. watch FUBAR. That's amazing. So they Basically, watch FUBAR it, it's called... Uh, like, I'm FUBAR. angry. I forget what they called it, but it's in... um, What's this anime called? Don't FUBAR. The finger gun guy. Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah. That's the thing, though. It's not that FUBAR, you can't watch it. It's that it's made up of like a thousand different clips of the worst of the shit. Worst yeah, it's shit. like so. It's like you can one. technically watch it. Yeah. You just gotta like go. Look no, yeah, they. Go I, I was trying to find out like if anyone. No, but, had but anything, that's the thing. But it's the deep dark web. Find shit. find all of the clips. Oh, no, oh, yeah, what he's saying together. is you're yeah. probably watching it already. You're just not watching it. I'm saying you're probably sitting. going live leak and find like a like dozen. Right. Exactly. So you could I've probably watched, make a worse So one. how much of FUBAR have we all seen then? <laughs> no, nah, I've probably seen like less than 10%. <laughs> Jose's seen twice. <laughs> Jose, uh, Jose, <laughs> Jose's seen saying the sequel. Jose is subscribed. <laughs> Jose made it, honestly. Jose, Jose is actually, he started FUBAR of the month where every month he sends you a clip. <laughs> I find out Jose has in- impeccable editing skills, but he uses them for absolute evil. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like the Congress people and when they tried to ban TikTok, they were like, explain this. And they show a clip of like someone's poorly made TikTok. And he's like, explain. And the guy's like, dude, I, I, I didn't don't, make it. I didn't make By it. By the way, that also had, there has to be a meme edit of that, but it's just our cringe talks oh that we God. watch. I want to do <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Where oh, it's like, man. explain <laughs> we, this. We got to <laughs> call it food bar, bro. <laughs> No! <laughs> Crew bar. No, crew bar. <laughs> cringe bar. Cringe bar. Cringe bar. Cringe. Can we start cringe bar, bro? <laughs> the dirtiest, I will cringiest clip you will never ever know seen. It's me. <laughs> your eyes will cringe out of you your skull. Me, you guys start seeing me like driving around in a Lambo. Like, Bob, are you getting this money? No idea, bro. Oh. No idea. You heard of this cringe bar stuff, though? Yo, you, you should, should like watch it. You should like <laughs> your friends. Yeah, tell your friends about it. Fucking... <laughs> I, like about so you know, fresh, so fresh. Joey said the TikTok thing. It, it just rang, and I don't know why, but I wanted to bring up something current event wise. Fucking, why did you want to say something? I, Montana's the first state to ban TikTok. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Montana. So what I was gonna say is that fucking, we usually don't dive into like we considering we're a podcast that focuses on like pop culture and like you know entertainment news and stuff like that we don't really yeah. talk that much about celebrities and no. shit um <laughs> but i was curious to know what you guys thought about millie bobby brown getting engaged all that because it's something that's like dividing the internet where people are like she's an adult let her live and then another side of people who are like she needs more time type of thing um, oh, um, she could do whatever she wants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she could do whatever she wants. I think it's important for people if it, to see if different start... lifestyles. No, but I, I can see why people are like trying to be yeah. pr- possessive of her or like motherly towards her. She's we saw her as a right. kid, so we all there. Well, I'm not gonna speak for us, but there are people that are definitely like. She, I watched her grow up. I yeah. have like I'm like a parent figure. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I think it's family. just because like. I, I, I don't mean to cut Jerry off, but I feel like it's also accentuated because we're also seeing a lot of these child stars go. 
Right. Yeah. And it's kind of always been that way. So now that we see maybe another one not getting into the best of life circumstances, mm-hmm. we're kind of like, ooh, this might not end well. So we're kind of thinking about it in that way, maybe. Because other than that, I don't give a fuck about what famous people do. Right, I really right. don't, what regardless gonna, of their age. What were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, at here? the same time, like, yeah, people don't like people care too much about celebrities. That's a that's a really yeah. good point. <laughs> so it's like it kind of, I mean it kind of shuts down the whole argument. It's like <laughs> who cares? But at the same time, it's like I don't know. People are like also crazy about it because people don't get married young anymore. Because the reason I'm really infatuated with this whole situation is because typically it's a situation where you know, like you said, people you know care too much. But now like other celebrities are starting to chime in. Where, oh, like, shit, even, really? Yeah, people are even like trying to be like, Bobby, Millie, you shouldn't do this and stuff like that. Oh. So I'm almost like, whoa, this is like. It's like bigger it's, than that. It's like extending it's bigger, almost. You right. know? So I'm like, uh, oh, now this. Do you think celebrities are in on something? They're, somebody's are definitely in on something. Not this. This isn't right. what they're in on. Maybe, but fucking. Millie, 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 Millie Bobby Millie Brown Bobby is Brown. not in the Illuminati. We're good. Maybe yeah. she, this is her introduction to the Illuminati. There's like a lot of old posts too that are coming out where like Millie we used to post like, not that they, she used to post bad stuff, but she was posting very like adult Ooh, style. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> adult style like Instagram posts. And not adult like bad, like in the sense like she's already married to this guy type stuff. Like kissing uh, on the beach and or going out to stuff like that. And other celebrities, like this was like two years ago when she was like, I don't know how old she is now. She's like 19 now. 19, yeah. So she was like 17 back then. Yeah. Where they were like, damn, they didn't let me leave my house till I was 20. And look at you, like all this crazy shit. And it, yeah. like it just feels like Millie Bobby Brown is like the little kid of Hollywood. Yeah. And she's not even a little not, kid. And all, it's exactly. A, also, it's like yeah, exactly. Hollywood's child and then parentheses, hey, it's not actually your child. Exactly. So I just find it funny that, who was it that said the motherly thing? Yeah, the, yeah. it's like everybody Bob, wants yeah. to mother. It's either like one of two very odd things. It's either they want to mother her or the other bad one. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's very strange. I don't know why this is dividing literally everybody. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm also on the side of like, you know, I think, it is a bit maybe too young for like I haven't heard of anyone getting married at what nineteen early twenties I mean, especially it's, now it's, I don't even think it's the age thing I think it's how long they've been together yeah right? it, I mean, that's a big that factor. Is, I feel like that's what makes it weird it's what Bobby said it's that she's been posting things adult like since she was a child and I, so yeah. that's why it's like not early I think and another so it's yeah another it's one of weird. the bigger arguments is people are like you know live your life a little bit that's not to say like dump the guy but like people are saying that you need to live your adolescence out a little bit and all that Hollywood shit, which, does suck your adolescence out which is like you know, I was agreed, about to say it happened yeah I don't know yeah. did she really live her adolescence like let her enjoy her Hollywood money as an adult I don't know and hey for what it's worth that could be a completely other terrible decision right because you've yeah, seen word. where these child stars end up Man right I mean, she's not dying for she's what just it's getting married yeah for what it's right <laughs> yeah, word. She's but for what it's married. worth like you know you could even make the argument that maybe this whole marriage thing is like the opposite and maybe this is like the positive spin like she's gonna We're live the like good, a, this is the yeah, yeah. this is the good side of the timeline exactly. exactly. not the bad yeah. ending but I, I just find it funny that this is something that everybody even my mom was like did you hear I was like you don't even watch the show like <laughs> I'm just but like, so, no know. one does, bro. None yeah. of us do. Like, I, I he's the only one that watches things. Stranger Things. No one watches Stranger Things. I watched no. the first season. I saw, I don't watch I saw the things. first yeah. two episodes of. Yeah. Wow, so I'm caught up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch yeah. that last season. It's so you guys. strange. I, I don't know if you told me yeah. she's young in so that. And people are like, she's getting married. Like this know. movie came out two years ago. Yeah, if you told me that in the in the past, like that, like in the past, like you went like ten years ago, and you were like. Dylan, the most popular celebrities in people's mouths will be Selena Gomez and Millie Bobby Brown. I'll be like, why and who? <laughs> like, right. what is? Are we talking about Selena. these people? That whole Selena Gomez beef is kind of funny. It Even was this is kind of stupid. Yeah. It's like, oh, That's I'm, another thing. A nineteen-year-old got married. At least like, that oh, one whatever. is like that one's just more like fans being idiots, you know? Mm. Hey, this one's a bitch, and then yeah, people like, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That whole community of fan, like that, the Taylor Swifters and the Bieber, whatever they're called, I don't know. They're just all fucking. They're a Toxic. mess. They're a mess. I man. don't like anyone that obsesses over a celebrity a bit. Too. I haven't. I maybe they maybe, maybe we're like just too tame. Out. But like, I haven't liked that stuff like that in like a while. It's been a while since I liked something like that. You know what I mean? 
What? That like people that like obsess and like stand over something somebody. Yeah. I haven't stand over something in fucking years. I, I think even... it wasn't called standing when we did it. Like I don't that. think, but I don't even think any of us have really stand done that. Any, like the most like, he did uh... that was like John Wick, and even then you were just excited to see the movie. You yeah. weren't. Yeah, I was like that. You weren't Scott like Keanu Reeves. Reeves. I need his yeah, blood. Has <laughs> like his like one two months before like the hype movie comes no, out. No, like, Bob, like what we're saying is that you're not creating a whole Instagram page no, yeah, dedicated yeah, yeah. to right, John Wick exactly. with nothing but edits of John Wick. No, that's what. But in, in any of your cases, I just think like I'm burning the wick to this, see this movie. It's funny because there's a big difference. In fact, I'd argue there's a an oddly huge difference, and it's so funny because I was just thinking about this. I think there's a huge difference between even being a big fan of something and being a quote unquote stan of something. Yeah. And I know exactly what it is because I was. Don't ask me why I was thinking about this while I was taking a pee because I've been watching the Harry Potter movies and that's something else I want to talk about. But give me a second, fucking. I was like. You know, because I've been playing these Harry Potter games, watching the movies, and I'm like, this shit is sick. This shit is fucking dope. And then I think, and I'm like, but the fans annoy the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. And then it hit me. I was like, because when you're a big fan of something, like you guys know me, I'm like the biggest comic book fan. I can mm-hmm. tell you fucking 75% of the shit that happens in DC storylines, right? But it's not my fucking personality trait. I'm not going around like, I'm a superhero. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so it's like when people start to make the things that they care about their yeah. personality... Is that a stand? Stay away then from it. Yeah. Stay away from it. And then there's me. also like this connection thing as well. Like they almost believe that they're like they're at like a friend level with yeah. the celebrity and or, I, or yeah. with the musician or whatever it is. And it's like no, it's like a fa- it's literally star fan. Yeah. That's the yeah. connection. It's and I was, nothing more. I was gonna than say that. there's even like a spectrum to it too, where like you have at the low end where like people are like. I don't know where like you have like the girls who are like yeah you know I like my, this song my zodiac sign is a swifty or shifts like that right <laughs> like that's probably the low end of it and then the high end of it are people who are like I love Taylor Swift she's my sister like you know what I mean like <laughs> you, you <laughs> probably head a of the subreddit suspect. knows her coordinates you know? yeah exactly <laughs> so it's like there's a big spectrum to that too but I don't think I'd want to be a stan of anything yeah. I, I kind of like being me I wouldn't even want to be named stan and then using my I own personality to pretty... accentuate the things that I'm I have sorry if your name's Stan. Yeah. I couldn't stand yeah. it. So, <laughs> so shout out to Eminem for making a term. It's really great. I don't think he meant to, but fucking legend that. for that. Free money. And uh, that and mid have just taken off in popularity. Yeah. People say mid so much now. It pisses mid. me off. <laughs> yeah. Everything's oh, like yeah, it's mid. It's like, yeah, bro, like the every the everything now. Is yeah. everything is it's mid, mid or goes hard? Those or, those are it. Every, yeah. Mid it's, goes it, hard and fell off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, fell off isn't bad though. Fell off is like it used to be good. No, it's not. Yeah. Is it just me or does it always feel like New York lingo translates to the internet like really fast? I feel like it just it's both. Both yeah. both are interesting. Like as soon as New York lingo starts popping off, like everyone in other states are using it and using it online, and then it just kind of turns into internet lingo. I think I'd argue it's. It started at it's the internet. Th- yeah, it starts at the internet, but New York picks it up first. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. We pick and it up first. And then we spread that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're the spreaders. And people and then, are like, yeah. they talk. And we, and maybe, bro, there's no New York accent. It's just the internet accent. We found <laughs> this it. Is oh. the, the internet the, accent. The internet accent. <laughs> <This> is, <laughs> oh, that's why, that's why we abbreviate everything. That's why we use acronyms. <laughs> LOL. 100101. <laughs> 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 Fucking crazy. Good one. That, that's 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 wild dog dead ass facts fire my b af about to brick about to get a b e c the hockey way hockey like that's not offensive as shit <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> what do you think about every time i see those fuckers making the tiktok i'm like can you have a little fucking respect for the dude who's making your food and running your bodega please like damn yeah we're, like I my dad does Bravo. it but it's because he's friends with the guy you know what i mean <laughs> Not for nothing. My bodega guy is racist as shit. Yo, what? But everybody else is racist to him. So it's like this thing where like <laughs> it's fucked up as hell and I'm not going to repeat anything. But like my dad will walk in and say some racist shit to him and he'll say some racist Hispanic shit back. And he'll be like, okay, okay, my guy. <laughs> and he like, does it with black people. He does it with Asian people. My dad said that that used to be like Wall Street. He says he'd walk in and these white guys at the higher ups being racist comments and then people saying racist comments back and everyone's just like oh I'll see you tomorrow yeah racism, a lot of all i'm yeah. saying is racism destroys but a couple of times yeah. it brings people together it's like it's like <laughs> it's, it? it's like oh, it? a no. couple of oh, times. no honestly so, no bobby's right sometimes the racist test is being racist 
Like you, you, there's like a test. You I know? have a theory about. Like it's this, like, hey, right? is this guy racist? And then they'll say something racist, and you're like, ah, oh, they're good. I got a they're theory. Good. <laughs> I don't think anybody's 100 percent not racist, and I think that's the one thing that everybody we could just kind of like. Agree yeah, on. I mean, everyone has bias, and that's everyone not saying biases, that like you hate people, whatever, whatever. But that's just have. saying like, like somebody can make a joke and you'll laugh at it, even if it, if it takes you, they're gonna be like, why well, did I? Laugh. But you laughed at it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you're not 100 percent. Not racist. Right, it has to be worked out of you. It's the people that are like over forty you have to watch out for. Mm. You know, once you get like seventy and you start hearing yeehaws, get the fuck out because you're in the wrong part of the United States. Yeah. Keyword: United States. <clears throat> We're kind of good at that racist shit. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's kind, it's kind of, but when Virginia, but you know what's, yeah, you it's kind of built into like what? But like the United States, it's like beautifully racist. We're like a melting pot of racism. You go to like Sweden, I've and it's not, just like no, oh, it's against one. Yeah, right? you know what yeah. I mean. Okay, I at see least what here saying. you got like sects of gangs that we could we could turn this shit into like the Warriors or something. Yeah, it took a while. Yeah, but it also it, took it a while spreads. to get there. It took yeah. a while to get there, Bobby. No, obviously. Yeah, we're for fucking... for a longest time, it was not that right. way. It was yeah, kind it's of you know it's it's, it's it's sad to say, but yeah, the U.S. Oh, we're good at racism. You see it all the time. That I saw a like a racist video in like Poland or something like or some other place that I was like, they're racist out there. Like they they deal with the problem we see on the news every day. Yeah, yeah. and it was just some old guy that was just like uh, against um, it was like an Indian man, and he was just like yeah, I'm just saying a bunch of stuff. In the only language he knew to get it across to the other guy, but I was like, "Damn!" Like, you have to you have to keep in mind the flip side too is that since we are a melting pot in this country, we have the people here to speak out against it. Whereas in other countries, it's just kind of like fuck them. Well, right? Yeah. It's yeah. like there's yeah. three of you here. Yeah. Like there's only three of you. But You're gonna go, We're gonna put you in camps yeah. now. It's the like the other country is literally the main race wins. Yeah. Whereas yeah. in America, I feel like that's why America. Like, could you imagine if like fucking that's Idaho true. decided they were gonna put all I don't know like all Native Americans in camps? That shit wouldn't fly Wait, in where? a fucking heartbeat. And just like in a state like Idaho or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But then you know, obviously, there's countries that do this in the millions, but fucking. That we have people to fight for their rights here, which is yeah. nice. We also have the freedom of speech. Sometimes. 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 Yeah. Hey, if you're on TV or radio, you do not. Yes. Thank you, George Carlin. Mm-hmm. You have the you have freedom to take consequence. Uh, yes. Ooh. Wise man, Jerry. It's a little, it's a little <laughs> too deep for my liking, Jerry. I'm going to put you on timeout. Yeah. The guy at the now. Sesame Street shirt, man. We're, we're putting Jerry in timeout, a.k.a. a second political podcast that we are getting money <laughs> off of. Right, Jerry could be like the tri- the next Trevor Noah, you know, like <laughs> why? Because he's black. Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't say John from? Stewart. Isn't he like fucking like... South African? Ah, uh, no. that's why he's an actor. He's actually, I think, uh, I might be getting that wrong. I think he like grew up affected by the apartheid and stuff like that. Which is, he talks about stuff like mm. that, which is cool. Mm. So did this chick. Uh, interestingly enough, sorry, to a super group? crazy tangent, yeah. but. Charlize Theron, yeah. she was also from South Africa, oh. and she actually deals with severe depression from the apartheid era, and that's why she's a big stoner. Yeah. She's talked oh, wow. about that. I was like, oh shit, fucking uh, to so spin they it love into Charlize. to spin it into something stoners love. I'm so I'm getting good at this now. Yeah, Don't worry. fucking last night Jose came over, which he's also doing later in a bit. But um, Ooh. we ordered Taco Bell. Yeah, you know, as we as we typically do when Jose comes over. Yeah, <laughs> and I got a new menu item. Told Jerry about this. And uh, I don't want to specifically talk about the menu item, but just to get past it, it was the, they brought back their fries. So they have the Taco Bell seasoned yellow bird sauce fries. So it's fries, sour cream, meat of your choice, you know, tomatoes, cheese, and then a yellow bird sauce. And I tried it. And the yellow bird sauce is a habanero ranch. Oh, shit. It's actually very good, but spicy as shit. Yeah, habanero. I was actually sweating eating those fries. But what I actually wanted to talk about, because I thought this would be a fun one. What is your favorite seasonal fast food item? Mm. Seasonal fast food item? You know, it's another fast food item that I saw that they had today. At Popeye's. I know what you're going to say. They had a strawberry, strawberry biscuit. biscuit. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> like what? A strawberry bit. It's like a sweet biscuit. <laughs> That's weird. I think I think I'm actually gonna go with their chocolate things, their the chocolate beignets. beignets. Oh, the beignets! Ooh, those are crazy. Are they seasonal? Cause they're gone forever. Are they? I don't know. They I weren't there for back. a bit. How about every just time how about, I order how about, Popeyes? I try to. How find about it. just your favorite non-permanent fast food? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You have to oh, distinguish that's, that for that's sure. That's hard. I'm gonna go with the Whopper. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I'm a. 
I have mine if you don't. I don't know because I mean he just said the fries. I mean like the nacho. Those are good. The no. nacho fries because it's good. like that That's thing he season. named and then back in the day when they like the bowl like that shit really hit better than anything. Mine is the Wendy's gotta think about it, though. pub pretzel burger. Wendy's has a pretzel burger that I gotta was think about there, this. and then it disappeared, and I was so frustrated. Like, I think that was the first time I was legit frustrated that food was taken Broke off. Broke his of phone. Me. I was mad. <laughs> no, I legit was mad when I went to go to Wendy's, and I asked for a pub pretzel burger, yeah, like, no. and they were like, we don't make that anymore. I was so... I, I didn't want to eat there anymore. <laughs> Can we recreate that, bro? <laughs> Joey? You know when I was... <laughs> The I didn't first want to time eat I was there mad anymore. At I was a like, fucking a fast food restaurant was when they took away mozzarella sticks from McDonald's. You were, remember? I, I remember they were, the they were a dollar, bro. Though. They, they were a dollar. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the McDonald's snack rack. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh the, yeah, that's goaded for sure. That's the winner. No, actually, there was a time where uh, McDonald's had three different chicken sandwiches. And they put way I too much ranch this. on every single, fo- or too much mayo ranch. on like every one, like every chicken sandwich. It was like just lettuce, tomato, bacon, mayo, mm-hmm. and then they just fucking. Oh, I delicious that. though. Oh, I don't know if this counts as a seasonal, but the spicy McChicken, they don't have that everywhere. No, I don't know if that counts as seasonal. I don't know, or if it's like. I was also around. gonna say this one's kind of like uh, not technically true because you could get it any day but you can't get it any time of the day and that's mcdonald's bacon egg and cheese on bagel oh Five. oh yeah and that's an important distinction because and i think i know there's a reason why it's because the bagel is the only form of that sandwich that comes with mcdonald's breakfast sauce which is goaded mm. to shit mm. i don't I know what's in that, that. it's like a little Secret. bit of mustard a little mayo and then like extra stuff but it's like a nice tangy like i like uh, it interesting but if you get it on a biscuit or like uh if you get it on the mcgriddle it doesn't come with the no sauce. thaw mm-hmm. no thaw no thaw <laughs> no um, man, come on. You know it's good. The Dunkin' Donuts on February, they have a uh, this chocolate. They make a heart, a donut heart, and inside they have like a brownie, like custard Ooh. flavor, like a brownie icing, and oh, that's good. I had so that. good. I had that. Like every that time it's good. Valentine's Day, I go into Dunkin' Donuts. I know I'm gonna get that brownie flavored donut. They got me. yeah that cookie butter Dunkin' Donuts thing was awesome. Anybody good. else hungry? I want sweets. Listen, I started I want, hungry. I'm hungry now sweets. that now that now that you're talking about it. I am hungry. Fucking, hold on, I'm I'm going through the shit in my head and checking but off. Is all there the any boxes. other like fast food places we didn't name? I mean, those are just the ones we eat at. I can't really speak too much about like other ones like Chick Fil A or like Hardy. I don't like Chick Fil A. It's overrated. Chicken fries used to be uh, seasonal, right? Yeah. They were, back in the day. they were no, better. Back, they no, were back better in the, back then. Back in the day. Oh, they were way better back in the day. They were like yeah, actually were. crispy. Oh. Now they were like crispy. Now question. Yeah. No. Burger King when the nuggets were the crowns. Wow. Oh. I know it sounds You're stupid. as th- we are. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but that was a considerable difference from whatever the fuck Burger King calls nuggets now. Yeah, yeah. no. And I remember because it's like Burger King was like 10 nuggets for a dollar fifty, And I'm like, you know, those nuggets. <laughs> are How about ass. just like, can we just pull one out for the dollar menu? Like, remember that yeah. era? I remember I would be able to go to McDonald's with my grandma and get like four things for four fucking dollars. Like, that was awesome. That was literally when the fries were better. They were like pre patched. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before that guy sued him. When, we were, yeah. when we were babies, we didn't we didn't know about this, but in the late nineties, you could get a bucket of fries from McDonald's. <laughs> Fuck, bro. During the <laughs> what? yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find that. A bucket, the super size, bro. Bro, that's upsetting. That's wild. Our parents really had the Yo, bucket. Of fries. They were really winning back then, bro. <laughs> they were. They, they got were, housing. In they got big fries. dubs. Bro. They got housing. <laughs> big dubs, those fucking big bro. Dubs. Would you guys no have gotten the way. McDonald's bucket oh, of fries? Man, is that it? Damn, that's the pre patch fries, man. The '90s McDonald's bucket of fries. Look, bro. they got Chucky. Is that's, that that, that's not Chucky. That's Shaggy. It Don't says be Scooby Doo. <laughs> 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 Fucking McDonald's and Chucky collab in the '90s. Yeah, that would have been Scooby, Scooby, Scooby Rugrats. Where you wanna, are you? you? Want a Chucky Child's Play? Fucking kids menu. Oh, I thought you meant from Rugrats. Happy, happy yeah, from Rugrats. I mean. Oh, I thought the serial killer yeah. too. Why would that? Be? That's probably a fucking social experiment right there. When I say Chucky, who do you think of? That is a social experiment. I saw like crazy. I, I think of Chuck Norris. What else would you think? That's of? what I call. How old is Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris is my dad. Old. Chuck Norris is. Oh yeah, I see it. Fucking, he's old, crazy. He is Chuck old. Norris used to be talking. You gotta be like so at much. least eighty-five. Just to slip it in there real quick for like a minute or two. I did beat Hogwarts today. 
fun ass journey. Still got a bit to go with the platinum, but I see what Joey's been talking about. Fucking fantastic game. Had a great time. Already want another one to come out. Yeah, word. I'm, uh, I'm happy if another one comes out. And have also been watching the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> I showed Jose some of like the movie yesterday from the first one. I'm surprised Jose was willing to sit through that. Jose well, watch anything. We, just <laughs> really? we didn't watch the watch movie. Anything. I was just showing him like a scene from it. But okay. fucking, I, was I thought you were watching the no, movie. No, because I was showing him. I was like... He was actually like asking questions because he's curious about it. With Jose, his whole thing is lore. He's interested mm, in shit like that. That's true. Right? He does that a lot. So fucking, because uh, he was asking about like the different houses and stuff. But I was showing him in, in specific. I totally forgot when I was watching the Sorcerer's Stone just how shitty Harry Potter's adopted family is to him. It's like it's fucking bad. Like he's literally a house slave. Like he comes Weird. out of fucking his his cupboard room under the stairs, and the he mom's like, "Make breakfast, breakfast. Yeah, yeah, make yeah breakfast. straight up." <laughs> They lock him in a room for like six days straight. I'm like this. The the part I forgot is when like he starts getting all the letters from Hogwarts and he the guy starts like burning and cutting them all. There's like a scene where they're like fuck it and they start like shooting through the chimney and he's like we're going somewhere where no one will ever find us and it cuts to them in a house in like an island in the middle of the ocean and it's like this is ridiculous. I'm like what the <laughs> fuck like the whole. Po- Everything in Harry Potter is ridiculous, but the fact that these fuckers can go to, like, a random-ass house in, like, the middle of the ocean just blew my mind. I was like, this is too much. This is, this is They like, hate their... They yeah, hate I was like, the they hate they have for their nephew. Yeah, I was like, this is... is so strong that they will sell their house, go through the yeah. HOA, and buy a house <laughs> in the middle of the <laughs> That's nowhere. exactly what they did. I was like, I, I gotta find this fucking house. What is their names? The Dursleys, I think? Yeah. Oh, no, they're in two movies. No, they're not in true movies. The Dudleys? Dursley's. Dursley's house on island. <laughs> it just looks so stupid. Like, Great oh, Dudley is the kid, right? Fucking come on, Dudley Dursley. You've seen all the movies? Yeah, it, it cuts to that, and I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, no, it's not even livable. This yeah, guy, it's like, how did they get there? Like, no amenities. <laughs> and bro. Then, like, the scene goes from that house, and he's like, we're going where no one will find us, and they're there. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, they bro, hate this. Is their kid. neighbor like, like? Doctor Evil or some <laughs> yeah, shit, like, like, different layer. Yeah, that, what the fuck, yeah, bro? Have some sugar. I, that's it, wild. Fucking, I, I was like, that's crazy. How much they hate <laughs> this poor kid. I was. What, did you see all the Harry Potter movies? I've seen them all. Uh, I, it's funny, and the I think it's the sixth one when they're like teenagers now. That his cousin's like picking on him with two other friends, and they're bullying him, making fun of him, and then Harry gets pissed and pulls out a wand, and the other two kids are like, "What the fuck? He has a wand!" But his cousin's like. Like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. okay. I think I'm that's Order of the Phoenix I mean, in the tunnel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other two guys are like, he has a stick, and his friends are like, no, 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 no. He's he's serious with that. You got the little kid I was also, fright I was scene. telling Jose that like uh, replace it with a gun. A lot of people who don't watch the movies or aren't like familiar with the series don't know because I didn't know either. But the first two movies, The Sorcerer's Stone and uh, The Chamber of Secrets. They're filmed and directed in a much more childlike sense. Even watching the movie yesterday, I watched the like the first one and half of the second. I was like, they're almost made like a video game. It's like they go on little side quests and they learn shit. And then at the end, they go through like a trial where they have to solve like three puzzles. And then there's like a bad guy at the end. I'm like, it's filmed like a fucking, like a kid's game adventure. Yeah, like a kid's adventure. adventure. Yeah. And then like when the third one came out, film uh, directed by Alfonso Cuaron. Yeah. For Prisoner of Azkaban, he completely shifted the tone of Harry Potter, visually speaking. So when you watch Harry Potter 2 to Harry Potter 3, it literally goes from like, oh, <laughs> to, England and Hogwarts. To, to like to blue. Shit. Yeah, yeah to, there's to blue to and blue. Screech. And like, there's a war about to yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like, it gets really crazy out really scenes. fast. There's like a ro- this blood on like a rock The Dementors, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, the, the Dementors, Dementors were sick. Like, there's literally bro, a the war shit out of at the end of the fucking thing. But like, I just think that's a really cool... Like a lot of people talk about how the series grew with the fans, which is another cool. It thing also too, grew but... with the kids. Like yeah. those kids, you know. I'm glad to see Daniel Radcliffe. He gets he has actually getting a lot of work, especially on Broadway and live action. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good to see him because like I didn't want to see him typecast it as Harry Potter, which could easily happen. He walks in and is like, "Oh hey, what's up, Harry Potter?" They don't even say his name. It's just like it's Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm very surprised he, he actually got like he was able to get over that. Mm-hmm. You know, I I sincerely thought they were gonna call. I him also Harry feel Potter, like Hollywood kind of wanted to like throw him a bone. Like, yeah. bro, you spent your whole life as, as this Potter. character. Like, get a director to make him put him in the movie. Put him in the <laughs> movie. Like, and he'd have to change his appearance either. You said to take the glasses off, and even then, half the time he wears them. So. 
cool. Good for him. Good for him. I'm a wizard, Harry. That's not how it's said. You're a wizard. <laughs> Harry Pothead. Uh, you guys ready for Jamie M of the Week? Yeah. Hey, anyway, Laura. I'll do I'll do mine real quick. That's my favorite movie. Jamie M of the Week? Harry Potterhead. Oh. Harry Potter. Uh, fucking, is it sign on? Yeah. Fucking, oh, by the way, it's the 19th. You have a good one tomorrow, buddy. You know who you are. Uh, that's me talking to myself and editing. Uh, fucking, <laughs> my Jam of the Week is going to go to a song called In the Meantime by the band Space Hog. Oh. Uh, a song that I completely forgot existed, but they have been using in the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. Oh. And it's like a completely different version where it's like vocal and like kind of beautiful, like a chorus, but the actual song is like kind of like 90s <laughs> pop punk, mm. you know, it's, it's fun. So in the meantime, Space Hog. Nice. Uh, my Yam of the Week is a song that I was going to pick a couple of weeks ago, but I feel like it didn't fit the mood and now it does because I am sad. Not really. But have my you picked am- it before? No, I have oh, not. Sure. Yes. I am dumb because last week I thought I was picking a song from the same album but a different artist, but I picked the same song because I am dumb. I'm not that dumb, but I'm, I'm pretty dumb. Yeah. My am is Lauren the Beehive by The Wonder Years. Uh, mm. I saw this band live and the song literally made me cry because he right before he sang the song the song's already sad like i've listened to it on the train before and been like damn that's sad but then he was like make sure to call your grandma i wrote this about my grandma and i'm like god fucking damn it but yeah beautiful damn. song bridge it like gets like orchestral it's like oof. yeah crazy. my uh my slam it came on while i was working i think maybe yesterday i was in my classroom just like putting things away like organizing and changing because i just dipped as soon as spring break happened um, but it played in the background and I was like, oh shit, this is an oldie and I was jamming to it. Uh, it's Ready to Fall by Rise Against. I know mm. that song. It's a good song. I'm going to pick a, in honor of a Metallica dropping an album today, I'm going to pick a Metallica song. Yo. I'm going to pick Nothing Else Matters off the Metallica album, man. Nothing Else Matters. That's a good one. And we all picked four different genres of rock. Look at that. That's fun. Who'd, who'd have seen that one coming? Who would Not, have me. Thought? <laughs> Not me. Not me. Not me. Guys, thanks Not for coming us. and hanging out with uh, us. It's cool that you do that. It is very cool that you do that. Uh, if you liked <laughs> what you saw here, make sure to go ahead and like this episode of The Joystick Show. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to Team Joystick. Yeah. Uh, fucking. And, uh, hey, if let us know in the comments who you're racist against. You know, yeah. <laughs> everybody's got one. If you, you guys want to stop by a stream and call us racist things in the comments of our stream, go yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, stay tuned. Really we don't really it. have like a schedule or anything, but we will definitely notify you. Get when, ready. The, when the next stream comes. and and uh, when we plan it, everyone will get a notification. Yeah. Thirty minutes before. Definitely, definitely. So from all of us here at Team Joystick, you uh, you be good. Um. That's what it do, Yugi. That. <laughs> it does. I that's, that's, what, that's what it do, Yugi. That does what it do. That's what it do, Yugi. <laughs> <laughs>